Zhang Ying from GV Times in Beijing. Chinese President Xi Jinping concluded three-day state visit to Kazakhstan on Sunday. Xinhua News reports during his day, Xi met with his Kazakh counterpart Nazarbayev. They agreed to deepen the two countries' existing comprehensive strategic partnership and to boost their cooperation in energy, trade, security, and law enforcement. The two sides signed 22 agreements worth about a total of around 13 billion U.S. dollars, including several deals in the key oil and gas sector. In a speech at Nazarbayev University, she proposed that China and Central Asia boost cooperation further by joining together to build a Silk Road economic belt. China Network TV reports President Xi also attended the founding ceremony of the China-Kazakhstan Entrepreneurs Committee in Astana together with his Kazakh counterpart Nazarbayev. On Sunday evening, Xi arrived in Tashkent for a state visit to Uzbekistan. Also in news, a Dutch artist Hoffman's signature rubber duck makes its debut in Beijing on Friday. Visitors must take care that they are looking at the real thing. China Daily says the 18-meter tall duck will float in Beijing Duck uh, Garden Expo Park until September the 23rd and then to be moved to the Summer Palace. The artwork is a gift from Amsterdam to Beijing. The mainland debut of the sculpture comes a day after Copycat appeared in Yuantan Park in downtown Beijing. China Network TV reports Copycat versions of the inflatable duck made in China began appearing all over. The ducks showed up in at least 16 cities. The organizer of the Beijing Design Week was quick to respond to the appearance of the so-called fake duck. Speaking to China State TV, he said the violent intellectual property rights. Tickets to the Garden Expo hosting the duck cost 100 yuan. On previous stopovers in Hong Kong, Sydney, and London, the duck was free. Thanks for following GB Times. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Zhang Ying in Beijing. Goodbye.